Hey guys, I just wanted to go in depth a little more on the cutter I used on my last video. It is a Milwaukee tubing cutter, item number 2471-20, that's bare tool only. It doesn't come with a case, it actually comes in a cardboard box, like that. Instruction manual. It will cut half inch OD to inch and an eighth OD, copper tubing half inch plumbing copper type L just pop it in there hold it straight click it over to cut hold your pipe Go to home. Cuts it pretty nice. Not too bad. Good clean cut. Now I had a, a comment on my Daikin video. A guy says he's had that cutter but it doesn't do well on soft copper, which doesn't surprise me because their soft copper is out of round. And, being soft it may leave a bigger burr so I've got a piece of 7 8 we're going to see how it does alright see what she does here And it cut, but it didn't cut all the way through. It has issues with it. Got to break free. But with soft copper, it's having an issue getting through it all the way. And like I said, it's not round, so that may be part of it. Let me get the cap back on there. It does real well with rigid tubing. It has issues with soft copper tubing due to the fact it's not truly round so what happens it'll cut most of the tubing then it'll get to spots where it won't cut because of the low spots it'll hit the high spots and not the low spots and you know how it is when you've got hand cutters and you're trying to cut that stuff and it just it's you feel it tight and then it's loose and it's tight and it's loose and you finally squeeze it enough where you get it cut it's gonna get, you know, it's gonna get most of it, and if you can break it, the rest of the way is fine. But I couldn't get this to break. It had channel locks on it. I was trying to get it to break free, and it just wouldn't do it. I don't know if hitting it again will. or not. Let's see. Let's do a shot. This thing doing its business from the same view with a half inch round pipe. The burr it leaves yeah, typical, not too bad.
It's not bad. Uh, there's a parts list on uh, Milwaukee side, a breakdown of everything on here. I've never taken this apart yet to do a wheel change. Replacement blades are available. The cheapest I've seen is SupplyHouse.com. They had a two pack for $5.25. Amazon wants like $17.99 for their two pack. It's kind of ridiculous. Changing the blades. I was just reading on how to do that. You got to take the battery pack out, obviously. There's a little clip. Now I haven't done this yet, so this may be a total disaster. But you got to take the clip and remove it. center spot to get that e-clip out so I had to go on each side of it with a screwdriver on both little recesses. All right, take out the e-clip. I'll put the battery back in, see if I can return it to home. There we go. Pin falls out from the bottom. Put a new cutting wheel back in, put your pin back through. Cutting wheel in place. Wouldn't want to have to change that thing every day, I tell you what. It's kind of hard to do when you're under a camera, but it's trying enough even without the camera. But you take out the E clip, pop it out, pull this pin out. And as you can see, that pin is not easy to pull out. You almost have to get into position where it's going to fall out on you. Just barely has enough room to come out. So once you get that clip out, it will come out. And then getting it back in, getting it aligned to where these holes are lined up and allowing it to come through. It's kind of a challenge, but it, I just did it so it can be done. But it really, for the stuff it will do for the hard-drawn copper, 
it, it's, it's a really good little tool. Seems to be fast. Um, when I cut that compressor out, I, I stuck it in there on the suction side. Kind of, kind of got it in there, and I hit it, and it was it was going for a little while, as you can see in the video. And I didn't think it cut when I pulled it out. I noticed it was already cut in half, and it was done. So it done a real quick, easy job of it. I hope the review of this tools is helped somebody out. I'm sure a lot of people can use it. Some people may not. Obviously, those who just use uh, soft copper tubing may not like this tool very much. It's, it's not very good. And it has to do more or less with the tubing than it does the tool. So out of round stuff, it doesn't cut very well. It has to be good round tubing. So the 2471 copper tubing cutter from Milwaukee. Nice, heavy, feels solid. I like it. Thanks for watching.